Adam Driver American actor Adam Douglas Driver is an American actor. Recognized for his collaborations with auteur filmmakers, he is the recipient of various accolades, including nominations for two Academy Awards, for Primetime Emmy Awards, and a Tony Award. Born, November 19, 1983, age 40 years, San Diego, California, United States. Spouse, Joanne Tucker, M. 2013. Height, 1.89 meters. Parents, Joe Driver, Nancy Wright. Education, the Juilliard School, 2005-2009, University of Indianapolis, Mishawaka High School. Adam Douglas Driver was born in San Diego, California. His mother, Nancy Needham Wright, is a paralegal from Mishawaka, Indiana, and his father, Joe Douglas Driver, who has deep roots in the American South, is from Little Rock, Arkansas. His stepfather is a Baptist minister. His ancestry includes Dutch, English, German, Irish, and Scottish. Driver was raised in Mishawaka after his parents' divorce, attending Mishawaka High School, where he appeared in plays. After September 11, he enlisted in the Marines, serving for more than two years before being medically discharged after he suffered an injury, which prevented him from being deployed. Driver attended the University of Indianapolis for a year and then transferred to study drama at Juilliard School in New York City, graduating in 2009. He began acting in plays, appearing on Broadway, before being cast in Lena Dunham's series Girls, 2012, as her character's love interest, Adam Sackler. The role gained him attention, and he subsequently began a robust film career, appearing in small roles in J. Edgar, 2011, and Lincoln, 2012, supporting roles in Francis Ha, 2012, and Inside Lewin Davis, 2013, and then to major mesmerizing roles like in the comedy drama This Is Where I Leave You, 2014, Martin Scorsese's Silence, 2016, and as Kylo Ren in the Star Wars movie saga beginning with Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, 2015. Widely regarded as the one of greatest actors of his generation by now both in the United States and internationally as his superb qualities have been expressed further in a sublime range of excellent performances full of unique profoundness, subtlety, charisma, and insights such as the ones included in brilliant films like Patterson, 2016, Logan Lucky, 2017, The Man Who Killed Don Quixote, 2018, and The Report, 2019. His interpretations in Black K.K. Klansman, 2018, and Marriage Story, 2019, were also nominated in the Academy Awards for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role and Best Performance by an Actor in a Leading Role, respectively. Family Spouse Joanne Tucker, June 22, 2013, Present, Two Children Children Child Parents Nancy Wright, Needham. Nancy Wright. Joe Douglas Driver. Robert G. Wright. Relatives. Sibling, sibling. Trademarks. Towering height and slender frame. Long black hair. Deep commanding voice. Known for his aversion to watching or hearing his own performances. Trivia. Received his Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Juilliard School in New York City, 2009. Does not watch his own performances on screen, and even declines to listen to audio clips of himself while being interviewed on the radio. While serving in the United States Marine Corps, he missed active duty in Iraq on account of a mountain biking accident in which he broke his sternum. Attended and graduated from Mishawaka High School in Mishawaka, Indiana, 2001. Growing up, he sang in the church choir, his stepfather was a minister. Served in the United States Marine Corps, and currently manages arts in the armed forces, a non-profit organization that stages theatrical performances for military personnel. Before becoming an actor, he once worked as a door-to-door -door Kirby vacuum salesman, a telemarketer for a basement waterproofing company, and Ben Franklin Construction Company. Lena Dunham thanked Driver profusely for his support when she won her Golden Globe Award in January 2013. Says he originally passed on his role of Adam Sackler on Girls, 2012, 
because he thought television was evil. He was considered for the role of Lex Luthor in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, which went to Jesse Eisenberg, as of 2020, has appeared in three films that were nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, Lincoln, 2012, Black K.K. Klansman, 2018, and Marriage Story, 2019. Has one son with his wife Joanne Tucker, they kept his birth hidden from the press for two years. Before his major mainstream roles like in the Star Wars franchise, he has often played socially awkward characters. Nominated for the 2019 Academy Award in the Best Supporting Actor category for his role as Flip Zimmerman in Black K.K. Klansman, 2018, but lost to Mahershala Ali for Green Book, 2018. He is the son of Joe Douglas Driver and Nancy, Needham, Wright. Adam has English, German, Dutch, Irish, Scottish, Scots-Irish slash Northern Irish, and distant Swedish, Welsh, and French, ancestry. His father is from Arkansas and his mother is from Indiana. Their families have lived in those states for many generations. Some of his Dutch ancestors were from Friesland. He was rumored to be playing Dick Grayson slash Nightwing in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, 2016, but denied any involvement. Despite this, he expressed an interest in the role and has been a popular choice among fans ever since. Has stated his interest in working with Pedro Almodovar, Paul Thomas Anderson, Michael Hankey, and Mike Lee. Was briefly enrolled in the University of Indianapolis Theater Department. Currently resides in Brooklyn Heights, New York City. Nominated for the 2019 Golden Globe Award in the Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role in Any Motion Picture category for his role as Flip Zimmerman in Black K.K. Klansman, 2018, but lost to Mahershala Ali for Green Book, 2018. Has worked with eight directors who have won the Academy Award for Best Director, Barry Levinson, Clint Eastwood, Martin Scorsese, Steven Spielberg, Joel Cohen, Ethan Cohen, Steven Soderbergh, and Francis Ford Coppola. Born at 12.34 p.m., PST. Quotes. Just the service aspect of running a nonprofit is so gratifying because it takes the attention off yourself. I'm not an acting monk or anything. I'm not, like, the most well-adjusted actor. But it's really designed to focus on yourself, or it can be. So it's good to have something else to focus on that reminds you that it's not always about you. Something I learned in the Marine Corps that I've applied to acting is, one, taking direction, and then working with a group of people to accomplish a mission and knowing your role within that team. I'm like a sight gag, I have this really big face, I don't totally get it. I mean, when I read for Girls, 2012, I was, like, the script says handsome carpenter, so someone else is going to get the part. They will have someone handsome, not me. I mean, I'm not in any danger of getting leading man parts. The deadly thing in my job is to attach too much meaning to everything. You have to have a sense of humor about yourself. I'm definitely trying to figure this all out as I go along, how to craft a career. As things get bigger, I have days of depression, sitting in the house and wondering, what are you doing? Is it even relevant? I auditioned in Chicago for Juilliard and didn't get in. I was basically living in a back room of my parents' house, paying rent and not doing anything with my life. I'd like to say it was patriotic to join the Marines, but it was also that I was doing nothing honorable with my life and spending too much time at McDonald's. In the military, you learn the essence of people. You see so many examples of self-sacrifice and moral courage. In the rest of life, you don't get that many opportunities to be sure of your friends. At the Emmy Awards, everybody runs up to you and says, aren't you having the time of your life? I mean, I was never after trying to get an Emmy. The whole spectacle seems cheesy and dated. The thing that motivates me most is being petrified of not having a place to put my voice. Observation 2013, on continuing to perform in Girls, 2012, every season is a different thing. The first season we were still trying to figure out what it is we're doing, and I think that still applies to the third season, which we just did. There's still an ambitious pursuit of how do we go deeper and surprise ourselves? On his musical contribution to Inside Lewin Davis, 2013, they keep the music department very separate from the actors at Juilliard. I am musical though. I grew up in church and did a lot of singing at choir.
and a lot at choir in school, and playing the piano, things like that. But I wouldn't call myself a musician by any means, compared to the, others. Musical in that I own instruments that are at my house that I play with people. But not like in that I have mastered any of them. On working with the Cohen brothers, I think they have a common theme, even though they work in completely different ways. Specificity of story, so clear with what it is they're after, and different opinions about how to get there. They're kind of unanimous in that way. Just to see the cones at the state they are in with their careers, and how they still have this relentless pursuit to to tell the best version possible, and do all their homework, it's incredible to have been able to witness. Salaries Riff Tracks, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, 2020, $45 million. Star Wars, The Last Jedi, 2008, $45 million. <laughs>